Welcome back everyone to the melee character we we back and it's a blood moon up top But you know off camera. I've been farming working on houses doing all this stuff and I noticed this recently What the fuck? I noticed this recently half of my map is missing Like I've explored the desert and that shit's just gone jungle. That's completely fine though. That's there Everything else just vanished from existence. I don't know What's popping off with that? But yeah, fall, fall the vine fully vine one more time and we should have more than enough stuff to oh, oh. <laughs> i see you with the new knockback why do i have a slime stuff oh i guess it's a decorative one uh hold up here can i get some thinking let me get some thinking done all right god if you want to stay out there okay close the door all right fuck me dude so everyone just get away all right everyone just get away you know what i need to fight i need to fight phantoms so Okay, uh, let's craft some stuff. Let's start with a thorn drill. There we go. There's, uh, this is 70% pickaxe power. Holy shit. Can I get some fucking peace? Jesus Christ. Fucking Terraria in a nutshell. When it comes to at night. Trying to get some shit done and I just keep getting attacked 24-7. Okay, hold up. Where was I? Uh Thorn Reaper. There you go. Ooh, massive. And then Lambost. There we go. There's our new set of weapons. Um Oh hey, I need to kill you actually. Can I do it with this? Look how fast this thing is. This thing is a fast motherfucker. This is a fast motherfucker. Hey, we're we getting the souls though. Which is good. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and equip some of these new weapons. I have so much excess shit. Okay. Yeah! This thing is slow as shit. It's a material, though. Eh. I'll, I'll hit you three times in a total of one minute. Eh. Eh. <laughs> this thing's ass. What the fuck? I'm sorry. It's just straight ass. No offense to mod devs. Uh, I'm keeping the power drill. Like, this, this isn't obvious. This has to be an obvious. No, put that shit in there. We don't need it. Uh, uh, we'll figure out everything else later. Okay. And then the lamb boss. No, it's just a fucking good old flail. Which I think this is using the trifecta, isn't it? Uh, let's see here. Trifecta. I was looking up what bosses we should fight. Max Mord, so that's used for a future one. Oh, this is not used for a trifecta, used for the rib chain. Okay. Got some interesting uh, later later game weapons we can make from G Realm. Alright, back to fighting this Blood Moon, though. So, what bosses are we gonna fight? I don't think we're gonna fight the birds yet. I think we're gonna go for uh, Tiki, Tiki Totem. He'd be one we can fight. Do I have Mahogany Wood still? Yeah, I do. Uh, Tiki Totem. I don't know who else. Tiki Totem, primarily. That's who my sights are on. But the home, let's go to the home. I've worked on it a little bit. Looks a little bit better. I don't need these hands. Hold up. You know who needs these hands? These Blood Moon enemies. They're about to catch this shit. I heard like an explosion over here. I heard like a weird ass like bomb noise, but there's nothing over there. Knockback on the ICUs though. Holy shit. They just go flying. Okay. Let's drop down into our cave. Look at this. Progress is slowly going. I know I haven't decorated all the homes yet. Now I switched to orange torches. Because I was just feeling them more. But that's what we got so far. Uh, it looks pretty good. Fucking leech. Goddamn leeches are at it again. Okay, hold up. I need to store my stuff here. Uh, speak about storing stuff. There we go. Get rid of all of those. And we got a painter. Which is always good. Hey, how are y'all doing? Where the fuck are the phantoms at? I really need some phantoms. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I need to succeed. For future items. Are some goddamn phant phantoms. And I ain't talking about Danny. I'm talking about good old Danny phantom. Ooh, vampires? I know we can make a weapon out of vampire blood. We need hellstone. I don't really know how to get hellstone yet. No, we don't need health, so we just need the Muramasa. Okay. That's no problem then. So. Wait. 
Come on. Before I talk about what I'm about to talk about, this is a late game. Yeah, that's a boss we fight. I think that summons in death. So, Tiki, Tiki Totem. What do we need to fight him? We need mahogany wood, ropes, and then Demon Knight scales. What the fuck they're called? Where are they even at? I just looked right at him, didn't I? Looked right at him and I just passed them. Whoa. That's a Teratoma. Ooh, here we go. Phantoms. Let me use this on the Phantoms. Slow them a little bit. Okay, back to it. Where are they? Now, people may be looking at these uh, crates and like, why the hell are you using crates to store stuff? I don't know. I had one up here from the doing that one quest and I'm like, hey, might as well use it. And that's, that's what happened. There they are. I look right at them. Shadow scale. I do have a shadow scale. What's that noise? I keep hearing noises like really far away. But then it ends up being nothing. Okay. Shadow scale. Can we craft the tiki totem? Is Tremor even in here? It is in here. Don't even need to joke around like that. Tremor. Let's see here. Oh, we need stingers. Okay. No problem. We got tons of stingers. We'll fight two, two Tiki Totems. We don't have enough to fight two Tiki Totems. God damn it. I need to go get enough to fight two Tiki Totems. Hey, look at that, we got a Shark Tooth Necklace. You know what mod doesn't add in anything? You know that there is no mod. It sucks. Let's rephrase. It sucks that there is no mod to add in a way to craft the, the trough. The money trough, whatever the fuck it's called. Sucks that there's nothing that adds that in. Uh, because, I mean, it's not like the money trough carries you or something. Like, you summon in the, the piggy bank, the trough, and it's like insta kills the wall flash. It doesn't do that. So I don't know why there's no mods that do that. Maybe there is a mod that does that right now, and I'm just saying that. But, I don't know. I feel like, oh, that's a golden cricket. Come up. No, he died. I couldn't find my net. Oh, it was right there. What quest are we on? Time up. What quest are we on? Oh, dungeon. Yeah, we ain't accomplishing the dungeon anytime soon. Alright, so what are we doing? We're heading over here to the right for some reason. I already forgot why. Oh, yeah, mahogany wood. Duh, I knew that. Maybe we should keep on going, too, and try and make our way. Wait, do we need to craft this at a demon altar? No, you don't. There's something we needed to craft at a demon altar. Oh, it was the, the mud. The slime. The muddy slime boss. Uh, I haven't really been down to the swamp yet. I know where the swamp is, I believe, but I have not actually been down there. So we gotta see if we can get down there pretty easily. I'm guessing if we just bomb down there, we shouldn't take that long. So let's get us some mahogany. Is that enough? Not enough. But we're bound to get enough. Right here, this is enough. Boom, bada, bing. That's two tiki drums. But we do have to fight him at night. Shit, I think it's like too way too close to daytime to try and fight him. Fuck it, dude. We're not, we're not gonna do it then. Instead, we will just make our way over to the corruption. And go craft the uh, mud slime. Then we'll probably go for the mud slime and then go for the tiki totem. Just because, you know, the timing of the day. So sadly, this drill, I can't just hold down shift and it drills things, but surprisingly it does something i did not expect it to do check this out as far as a thorn drill which mines tiles it hits what the heck you know how fucking awesome that is that's so cool all right so we got a nice nice little pickaxe gimmicky pickaxe going on here that we can just shoot at shit it does damage too it's kind of a low-key range weapon but if I miss, I mine stuff around it. Hey, Hyporb. But I like that. I like that idea. That's interesting. Uh, ooh, we can mine some ore pretty easily. If we, especially if we get point blank, like we can mine chunks all at once. I can even throw some ones while I'm at it, and then mine a couple of chunks. You know, all kinds of good shit right here. Give me all that. Eat that shit up. Eat it up. So I'm just up here farming some uh, avian cartilage and feathers because we're gonna upgrade our wings i think these wings had their uh you know their little lifetime and they are i believe they're weaker than 
the, the other wings we're about to make, but I don't fucking know exactly. It's not like I messed with both of these mods together recently, besides right now, I guess. So we need... Where the fuck did I put all the avian cartilage? Just had it, and I stored it somewhere. Uh, Bound to find it. We're bound to find it. What color is it? It's red. There it is. Okay, so let's head down to our blacksmith. Let's talk to him. Uh, so the reason why I wanted a good bit is because I wanted to make the harpy talent and make the flight wings. So now we got both. Um, obviously it's weaker than the tiki pike. Oh shit, it's a lot weaker. Does it even have any like special effects? Probably not. Whatever. We'll use it for now. Godly. Look at that. We almost amount to the damage. <laughs> almost. And then hasty flight wings. Alright, hold up. This is with the double jump. Alright, we almost get up there. Now let's try it. <laughs> oh my god. These are way better. What the hell? kind of whack <laughs> it doesn't even make it up there oh that sucks that sucks I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the other ones the other ones are just better we saw it right there we put them to the test of just better all right so let's uh fuck let's get, get rid of all that so i said we're gonna fight the slime king or not slime king yeah the not slime king whatever the fuck his name is mud slime his name i think it's mud slime no i remember oh, what the fuck's his name it's like right there in my head but i can't I can't what is it uh um <laughs> i really it's like right there i know his name fuck it's mud mudbert no it's not but uh there's a lot of there's actually a good bit of wings we can craft there's another set from uh version let go okay harpy maybe if i type in harpy is it wings maybe it's just wings feather wings which require 35 and i don't know if farming 35 of those would be 100 percent worth it so i'm not gonna so now we wait for night time to come around did i fight the worms i'm pretty sure i did fight the worms in an episode i don't remember what episode but i know i did fight the worms hold up and i lost Sandstorm in a bottle. So we can easily make this. Which one would be the best one though? Blizzard or Sandstorm? Blizzard or Sandstorm? Uh, what's closest to us? There's a snow bomb to the left of us. We're making Blizzard. I don't know which one. I think they're nearly the same. If not the same, if I were to guess, I would say Sandstorm is a little bit higher than Blizzard. But I don't care. We'll just give Blizzard anyways. Here you go, just start placing bombs everywhere. Place it right there. We don't need no... We don't need no ropes anymore. Who the fuck needs ropes when you can fly slightly higher than normal? So the wings after this, I think, are the skyline link. Skyline? Sky... Whatever the wings from uh, Calamity are called. Pretty sure it's skyline. What do we do this at a Tinker's... Oh, <laughs> wait. Did I store it somewhere? God damn it. I don't, there it is right there, but we'll just make one out of this. We'll just make one out of this quick blizzard in a bottle. So now we can go even higher. Uh, I guess, like, one thing I should try and do is actually try and craft the, like, whole, like, set of balloons in a bottle. Or whatever. Balloons. Because that would be interesting. I don't do that too often. I don't think it's possible with vanilla. Well, it is, but you'd have to create new worlds and stuff. So, let's try it out here. We just need regular sand. I have regular sand, right? Right? No. <laughs> of course not. Alright, let's just go fight. Uh, whatever his name is. King. King Toady. Alright, let's get to it. Let's fight Mr. Tiki Totem. Uh, can we just buff? Yeah, we can just buff. 
because I do want to use all this stuff we have. So this boss, very easy boss. Came with his, uh, I think he's getting an overhaul when uh, the tremor update comes out. What is that thing floating above his head? That little texture glitches floating above his head. What would be the best weapon to use here? Possibly this. Possibly the flail. Because if I just like let go of it and not accidentally pull it up once it comes back towards me. We should just be able to just keep dropping it down on him. Now I really do like this boss. This Tiki boss from Tremor. Just it's weak. It's cool, cool boss. I like the idea of it summoning tons of like jungle related enemies. That's fucking awesome. It's cool. Like Tiki Warriors. The Tiki Sorcerers, whatever their whatever their like actual name is. Might be Tiki Sorcerer. But I really like this boss. Obviously, like I say a lot, can't wait for the tremor update. But uh, hopefully, hopefully that comes to us soon. That's all we can hope for. All right, let's try another one. Can you find multiple of these guys at once? I can just reach them from here, can I? Wait. No, it does hit multiple times. Okay. I was wondering if like holding it down hit him multiple times because it was using auto swing. But yeah, this this uh this spear uses auto swing. I hear there was a glitch with auto swinging with spears, so that's why I like it's not in vanilla terraria or something like that. But uh, you know, I would like it if it was. They are called tiki sorcerers. Okay. Ooh, there you go. I accidentally held it. Strat is to not hold it when it goes down. But to let go of it as soon as it comes. I mean, when it comes up, not hold on to it. So. Just click once and then let the magic work itself excuse me that fight was a little bit more annoying i wouldn't say hard annoying because everybody was just around me why don't i slow all of you guys i wish these guys i, I bet i bet these guys are gonna be the overhaul part they're like souls because this first phase is pretty good maybe just a little bit more health especially for like expert and then the second phase should actually like be those skulls and actually be like a tough fight not just like hey kill us what do i need i need sand oh we're already past the sandbar so we need sand make the sandstorm in a bottle and then how i gotta figure out how i'm gonna get a bunch of balloons that's the that's the real question there. there's probably a way to craft balloons no there is with the gave as ones mod but i don't know about with any other mod if we can craft balloons it better be I don't have all these mods that add in a bunch of like crafting recipes here and there to not be able to craft me some goddamn balloons. I just want some goddamn balloons. Uh, hopefully this should be enough. I'm guessing it is. But you know, I'll just get some extra on the side here. I think we only needed 25. Did I get hit by that dude? What an, what an asshole, right? Hold up. Where's that hilt at? Toxic hilt. We can sell one. Then we can keep the other one. Now, from what I remember, this sword is actually not the worst sword. Toxic Claymore. Because it has really good attack speed and it poisons. So that's a pretty good weapon right there. But back to it. Let's see here. There it is. Sandstorm in a bottle. Now, let's see here. Balloons. Shiny red balloons. Did I have one? No, I had something from one. This right here. Where did I get it from? don't remember wait are these bullets oh rubber bullets that's not cool How do I... trying to think here so we can get 10 okay is there a way to craft balloons oh there's recipes oh shit all right the recipes aren't too bad and then what's the other one whoopee cushion what's the recipe for the whoopee cushion just 10 okay so that's the only way you can get a whoopee cushion uh, without having to kill worms, he gave his ones uh, crafting recipe for it. So we should do that. We should do that. Hold up, about to beat some ass. Okay, I see you, rabbit, putting up a little fight. He knocked me the fuck back. Mushroom is ammo. All right, hold up. I need to do this again. So let's get. Fuck, I gotta go back to a red balloon. Okay, you can't do that balloon so the easiest recipe was this one one feather 15 silk no problem one feather 
15 silk coming up. Where are the feathers? Not oh, shit. <laughs> Tell me you got feathers somewhere. Damn, did I use all my... Oh, there they are. I was about to say. Okay, so... I don't remember how much silk, so I'll just make like 40. What are we crafting again? Balloons. Okay, there we go. There's a bunch of balloons right there. So now, we should be able to turn these into what I want to turn them into. That is a blizzard in a balloon. Sandstorm in a balloon. Is this? No, this isn't a material. And then now we just need a regular cloud in a bottle in a balloon. Which I'm pretty sure I do have another cloud in the bottle. Yes, I do. So now we just need one more balloon. Which is 15? 15 silk, was it? Who fuck knows? I mean, I could know right now if I just looked at it. But I'm gonna guess it's 15. I'm pretty sure it's 15. Yeah. So boom, there we go. Then we take this down here. Cloud in a balloon. There we go. Bundle of balloons. Fucking awesome. So now. Oh, shit. Look how high that got us. All right, let's go get to the swamp and take on this boss. Yeah, I really love this, this new drill we got. It's so fun to use. And it's so efficient. Which makes it even f more fun to use. Efficiency is key, boys and girls. Let's go to the left. Have we been into the swamp? I don't remember. Ever since my map vanished, I don't... I don't seem to know where a lot of things have gone. Hold up. Before we go down here, before the music starts bumping, which the audio should be adjusted, so it shouldn't, like, over override me. Yeah, it's a lot more quiet than it was before. Ooh. You know, mine obs obsidian super fast. Hold up. We gotta get rid of these, uh, swamp grass seeds. These things like to clutter up your inventory a good bit. Not even clutter up, but fill in one spot. Guaranteed. Okay, so let's create a platform here. Where the hell would the best best spot for a platform be? Maybe over here? On top of the house, maybe? I just wanna oh dude, I wanted to get launched in. I wanted to get launched in. Alright, well, I couldn't really open that one up. Uh Galley's traveling merchant has arrived. Nice. Can you just like bail? Okay, so let's get a good good boss platform going on here it's all fine if we miss a couple blocks oh shit where am i going and then let's get let's get a platform over the, the lava just because we don't want him falling in the lava and we don't want me falling in the lava just you're right that we get a nice little platform popping off and then of course the campfire because we'll be coming back here in the future to fight yeah, uh, Empress Fly. Who's making that noise? Never make that noise. Let's check what's in this chest. Aha, we can actually open this one. Muddy Iron Sword. Decayed Moss, too. Okay. So we got another weapon to use in this fight. Just trying to get use of all the weapons. I actually switched to Thorium Armor for this, because Thorium Armor has a little bit of benefit here and there. Oh, shit. I almost got petrified. Uh, somebody said that... Oh, he killed himself. Let me say that if you use pickaxes on earthen golems, it does more damage. But let's do this. I'm only gonna drink apple juice for this fight. Uh, cause this fight shouldn't be too crazy. Merc, that's his name. How come I couldn't think of his fucking name before? Oh shit. Okay, hold up. Let me get some of this, uh, iron sword. This is gonna be impossible to touch him with that. There's no way that's happening. Alright, I am gonna fully buff, cause this guy does hit pretty damn hard. Does he take damage from lava? If I were to guess, I would say that he doesn't take damage from lava. That were, if that were, if I were to guess. Does this, alright, this does go through floors. So he actually hits really hard. So I'm just gonna try, try my best to stay away from him. Because I cannot get close to him. <laughs> you see how hard he hit me when I got like right next to him? Can we use the saplings? Okay, interesting. Maybe I will switch back to my melee armor. Because uh, he's kind of, he's kind of hitting pretty hard, pretty fucking hard. What's going to be the best way to fight him here? I'm trying to think. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not going to that's not gonna work out. I think we do just got to use this for now. Oh, my God. 
We gotta use this for now until my potions come back up. And then once they come back up, then we can go back in on him. But for now, we'll stick with this. Fuck, dude, I wish I brought the other spear now. I wish I brought the other spear. Ooh, scared me. He started teleporting. But hey, we're gonna use a flail for this fight. The flam boss will get its, uh, its, uh, sunshine. It's a uh, green light for a little bit. It's sunshine. I don't know why the fuck I said sunshine. Oh, you want to stay up there though? It'd be better if you stayed up here, cause that makes my life in uh, hitting you way easier. Oh hey, um, see, remember when I was just talking about you staying up there? <laughs> oh shit, he hit me. Okay, what happens? I'm gonna try some here. I'm trying to get some poison off on him with the. Uh, Toxic Claymore, because I got poison on there. I got... What other shit do I have on there? Frostburn. More poison. On fire. Got a good bit of things there. So let's hop in. See if we can get a good, good hit on him. There we go. We got something on him. Don't exactly know what. I'm noticing a lot of bosses have like weird things hovering over their head. I don't know if that's like a sprite. Sprite thing going on there. Like sprite error. Spriting errors. Spreading bugs, spreading glitches, whatever. Something with sprites. But, and I ain't talking about the drink either, so. I don't know what's going on. This is, the Tremor boss had it. Now this boss has it. Uh, there's probably a couple other bosses that had it. I know an enemy that has it. The wolves from Tremor. Well, how, how did these guys spawn up here? What the fuck? Did he jump that high and then spawn them in? That must have been what he did. Alright, we can like put our life on the line very soon here. But let me get one more poison in. If I can. Did we get some? Got some on him. I want to get the f on fire. I want to get frost burn. I want to get everything on him at once. But that's it. That's not the easiest thing to do. Okay. Jump a little harder. There we go. Harder and higher. I was trying to put the words together right there. But once we have a potion up, we're allowed to get a little bit reckless. Last time I got reckless, I fucking lost my hardcore character. So we always got to be cautious nowadays. Learning experience. You lose your hardcore character. You learn about life. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to use that sword to fight him. Maybe we won't even fight two. Well, I have to re-equip myself if we fight the next one. Because this dude is beating my ass right now. Okay, hold up. We'll get this. We'll get the last hit with that. There we go. We did it. Oh my god, I just dipped myself in lava. Let's get out of here. Hopefully it wasn't too loud while I was down there. Nimble Claymore. Ooh. Look at that. Maybe I'll use that over the the muddy, was it rusty? Muddy iron sword. No, it was muddy. Hopefully this does something cool. Very weak knockback. Nimble claymore. I get it. <laughs> so in the second fight, we got our spear now. And also we got this. Hardened mud absorber. More damage and life regen when close to mud. Look at that. So this says 28 right now. Let's see what happens. We get close to some mud. 34, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. So we will we will fight him one more time and then we'll end off the episode there. Because I do have to do more off-camera building. Excuse you. How are you going to land right next to me like that? And expect to live too? I bet he really expected he was going to live. Hilarious. Thanks for the fucking presence. I appreciate it. Honestly, I do. So... Are we getting our damage buff if we just chill down here? We're not. We have to be like pretty much touching it. This is what it looks like. So maybe this isn't gonna be the greatest here. So I'll just switch back to this. Alright. Let's fight him again. Merc. As we have seen, he's definitely been buffed since previous times. That or I'm just weak as shit right now. Which wouldn't be surprising. I am kinda taking my time in pre hard mode. Uh, because I don't, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see everything. I wanna see everything. It seems pretty durable. How durable is it? Ooh, we can make weapons out of it. Granite weapons, that's how durable it is. Okay. Spear. Activate. This is where, ooh, can I get, is that day bloom on your head? Can I get that? I'm trying to make some more iron skin, man. Can I just, like, hit him? There we go. We're actually hitting him now. I think the strat, the best strat was, like, going under him. Waiting for him to jump really high and then going under him. With either the Toxic Claymore or the Kopesh. Hold up, my nose is itchy. 
That seemed like the best strat. Ow. Come on. Jump over him. There we go. Like, his little, his little slimelings, they don't do too much damage. So we can, we can kind of just, you know, stay under him. Stay under him, do our damage that, or we can do this. Kind of walk back and forth, just stabbing him a couple times. Because it does work. What? How did I dodge? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting that your armor has prefixes and you can dodge attacks. That's one of the things they give you. Uh, maybe some accessories give you that, too. But I seem to dodge attacks pretty decently often i don't know actually but i i, I noticed it. i've been noticing it noticing it a bunch recently dodging attacks and it seems to help here and there dude my nose is really itchy. All right. this should be a one run though a one fight because i know i know how to take them on now we don't have to use the flam boss the whole time look it's like jungle weapons that i'm using set of jungle weapons all right we got a potion coming out let's kind of play a little bit carefully I don't want to. I don't want to die for no reason. So we're gonna try and kill his dudes uh, because they have a chance to give you hearts. Kind of walk right into him. He hits really hard. He hits really hard. Maybe I'll switch to this. <laughs> switch to this and hide. Hey man, lay off. I was just trying to get some regen. Oh, he's up here now. See, I didn't mean to run into him like that. This is easy. This is too easy. This is too easy for me now. You're, uh, whoa. Remember I said it was too easy? Where the hell did my life health, life health, what? Where'd my life bar go? Where'd my health bar? Gamer <laughs> You good? Okay, it's to talking to myself in third person. Okay, we got this under control. I've clutched things before. Y'all remember the, uh, I don't. <laughs> Y'all remember the, uh, what the fuck is his name? Dog? Dog fight? That one dog fight? Not the, like, 900th one. The one where I actually killed him. I think I've killed dog, like, at least three or four times. If I'm being 100% honest. I'm just waiting for a potion to come up. We can take a hit now. Do I want to take a hit? No. But it's definitely, definitely viable if we took a hit. Look at me clutching this shit, though. Look at me clutching this shit. Get that stuff out of here. I had to make it interesting. Ha! Last time I made something interesting, I lost my hardcore character. I'd like to give a shout out to some of my new Patreon donators. Brist and Squidpex. Thank you for donating.